So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make walk cycles. So let's go ahead and load in my character like so. And keep in mind, this has like a template for walk cycles. You can even use this for animations. That's what it's meant for. <laughs> it's for people to use for animations. You can like rotate it around and stuff and it shall walk as well. So yeah, really cool. It took a long time to make that. But yeah, you can use that as a reference. So I'm going to go ahead and actually lower the quality of this rig like so. So just there's like this option in my rig and then you press delete and that'll just delete the facial components and now we can just animate the body very easy and yeah so let's go into animate mode and let's start so my rig has this feature the visual selector so i'm just going to go ahead and drag that down here and select all the body components and hit keyframe so this thing right here uh, and now we can hit the record button and we can start making some um uh, pose. For beginners, I always suggest you have a reference image, like so. Um, so I'm going to put this on my second screen, and I'm going to work with that. Actually, I'm not, because I kind of already know how to animate walk cycles. It's not, the per it's not perfect, but this is Minecraft, so we don't have to be very detailed. So, let's get started and make our first pose, which is going to be the contact pose. We're going to go ahead and do that. So I have several ways of animating a walk cycle. I'm going to show you the easiest way, which allows you to copy and paste the keyframes, and then kind of move stuff around, and it'll... Uh, um, you can have like a infinite walk cycle, so I'm going to be showing you that one. And later on, I'm going to show you how to do the um, the other walk cycle, which is a little more friendly when you're animating. So yeah, that's the one I use the most. Um, that's the one I use, I guess. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, hit W on the keyboard if you want to go into world um, select uh, world movement mode. Um, so keep in mind, I'm going to probably fast forward these parts. And yeah. so you want to keep the legs kind of the same distance from the hips so then it'll kind of make it look a little better uh, you want to keep them like so so like, as you can see in the reference image it's kind of like the same distance apart in like this triangle sort of thing you don't want this one to be at a like coming down too uh, I don't know how to explain myself, but yeah, you kind of get the picture. Okay, so now we made our first pose, so we can go ahead and make our second pose, which is actually going to be the pose where he makes contact with his other leg. So this is how I like to animate. So let's go ahead and go to frame 30, uh, which is exactly one second ahead. Actually, frame 20. So now we can go ahead and make our second context. So what I like to do, or what you should do, because uh, we want the legs to kind of move in sync, so with the ground. So we need the legs to, um, you'll see later on in the tutorial why. So we need the legs to be kind of in the same position as the other leg when it's um, going like when they switch positions. So let's go ahead and copy these coordinates of this. So um, like so, copy. Now let's actually paste this onto this leg, like so. Um, paste identical, and now hit keyframe, otherwise it's not going to record. So now it's in the exact position as the other leg when it made contact. Um, so now let's go ahead and go back, and let's copy this keyframe. Uh, sorry, this position, like so. So copy, and let's paste it onto this leg when it's on frame 20. So paste, like so, and then hit uh, keyframe. So yeah. Okay, so now as you can see, it switches position like so, and they're on the boat. They're both on the same position. You'll see why later on in the tutorial. And yeah, let's go ahead and animate the other things like the arms now. So yep, the arms don't have to be perfect, cause um, the arms don't have to be perfect, cause it's not making contact with the ground, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, we want the legs to always be making contact with the ground correctly, so that's why we want we want it to be. Um, the same um, and yeah also keep in mind I'm not rotating the body because it automatically rotates so I don't have uh, automatically rotates because of my arm dynamic so yeah so that's a cool thing to have and okay so now as you can see we got these two poses here and it moves between them it looks terrible right now but we can make our edits so let's go ahead and do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the pass pose right here so we're gonna also make the down pose later and the up pose but that'll kind of do itself uh, in a way but yeah let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go to frame 10 and make that pass pose so make sure the leg is completely on the ground so let's just zero this out like so and that's and then the position I mean the rotation so now we got the pass pose so it's kind of looking better now like that so now let's make the uh, the uh, down pose which is 
when he makes contact with the foot because as you can see when he's making contact the foot is kind of looking really weird it needs to make contact with the ground so let's go ahead and do that okay so that's about it for the down pose we just needed that contact and now let's go ahead and make the uh, up pose which is this one right here uh, where he's kind of moving himself up a little you can see the line he's passing up that line and yeah let's do that one Okay, so now as you can see, we got our walk cycle for the first step. So now we need to go ahead and copy and paste and make the next step. So let's do that uh, and select the head. So select all the moving components, go to frame zero. That's the, this is what we're gonna copy. So this is basically the next step. So it's the copy of the frame, the first frame we made because we need his leg to kind of um, to go there. So now hold control and click on frame 40 because that's where we want the next step to be. And make sure on frame zero and hit control and click. That'll copy and paste the keyframe there so now as you can see frame 40 is the same as frame 0 so now we need to make that same sort of um, animation we did here and for this step and let's go ahead and do that so the same things um, pass up uh, and then down and up and yeah Okay so, now, okay, so now we want to make sure our legs aren't speeding up when it touches the ground. So what we want to do is actually make this keyframes linear. So that'll make sure it'll, it's not speeding up or slowing down. So let's go ahead and do that. So select these keyframes when it touches the ground. Uh, we don't need the last one here, uh, just these three. And then make it linear. And that shall make sure it doesn't speed up or slow down. It'll be one linear path. And you'll see why later on. Because when it touches the ground, we don't want that to kind of make it so that it doesn't skid on the ground. So let's do that. Now select these three, and uh, same for them to the other leg, so now it'll make it linear. So yeah. Okay, so now is your chance to make the final edits to your animation. So I'm pretty happy with it. I might have adjusted the legs a little, but whatever. So it's up to you what you want to edit. Um, you can even add the head motion. So say the bobbing, let's actually do that real quick. Okay, so now I added a little bit of bobbing to the head. So it makes it look a little nicer. So what we can do is if you want, you can speed it up a little. So uh, let's select all the moving components like so. And then we can um, do this and maybe speed this up a little bit. All right, that's about right. So now we're at frame 32, right? So we selected all the keyframes. So now we can hold control and click and drag these keyframes out like so. And that'll actually copy and paste the keyframes and we can just position them right on top of that frame 32. And that'll just now loop the animation like so. And you can even just Copy all this and hold control and click and drag and just plop it onto the last keyframe there. And yeah, so let's make this like 400 or something. And whoops, go like this. And let's go one more time and plop it right there. The animation looks a little bit rigid, but you can always fix that in F curve mode before you copy and paste all the keyframes in. But yeah, now let's go ahead and uh, move the main null of the of the rig and let's make sure it's going at the right speed. So now we want to make the, um, okay, so now we want to move the main null of the rig so we can match the speed of the walk. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to the last frame and just move this out. Whoops, make sure we have a keyframe at zero. Uh, so keyframe zero and then move this out like so and let's actually make this la this first frame we made linear So that'll make sure it doesn't speed up or slow down while doing the walk cycle. So now let's have a look So as you can see it's the legs are not um, Moving correctly on the ground. It's kind of skidding off. So right now I think it's going too slow So what we're gonna do is just move this up a little further and now let's have a look Still skidding a little, so let's go ahead and move this up a little further. And let's have a look. That's a little better, maybe a little bit more, and then we should be fine. Okay, so now as you can see, the leg is not skidding off the ground, and he's walking perfectly fine. He looks a little constipated, but whatever. That's kind of my animation skills right there, but whatever. So you can loop this animation as long as you would like. So now I'm going to show you the second method of doing this. I'll just briefly show you how to do it. It's kind of self-explanatory, but... Yeah, so keep in mind you can use this for run cycles and any type of cycles. That's why it's called a cycle because it can be looped. 
and yes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to animate the second way of animating a walk cycle. So this is a, this is what I use to animate everything. So this is like the kind of conventional way of animating it. When it's not looping, you can't copy and paste this. But yeah, I'm just going to briefly kind of show you how it's done. So I'm not going to make it uh, too fancy. But yeah, let's go ahead and just make a few steps like so. Uh, like this. And maybe switch the arms like that and maybe two more steps real quick and that should be good okay so we got this terrible walk cycle but let's try and fix it a little bit so normally what some problems we would come across is that the body is kind of speeding up and slowing down too much as you can see we got these weird like um, speeds so what we need to do is what this is what I do um, so I go into our uh, timeline like so let me just grab it onto the screen and then go into F curve mode and then go into the Z axis of or the axis which is moving in, hold number two, and let's just make see this. So as you can see, the keyframes are not smooth, so we need to smooth this out. We can go ahead and delete this, and we don't want this to slow down at the end, so let's do this. So this is where the F curves come in handy. So we just want this very smooth, maybe start a little slower because his yeah, because it's, uh, yeah, there we go. And now it should be a little smoother. Yeah, as you can see, it's a lot smoother. And now let's add the bounce motion. So when he takes off here, let's just add a little bounce. And stop and bounce and step and bounce. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a bounce, looks a little bit more natural. You can obviously add the better arm motions and stuff, but yeah, this is the basics of uh, animating it like this. this. Okay, so that's the second method of animating a walk cycle. I use this for, uh, for every animation, I don't really animate the looping cycles. It's only if you like you doing background characters or if you're just trying to get the feel for animating walk cycles, but yeah, um, so how I would just... Uh, animate background characters I was just use my auto walk and stuff um, so that's why I have it because it's automatically looping it just by moving this so yeah that's just basically the basic tutorial on how to do this okay so that concludes this tutorial I hope I covered this correctly uh, and I hope you got uh, got a good understanding so keep in mind it's all about trial and error um, and just practicing and practicing how to animate um, and yeah always observe what's happening around you and just have a look at how people walk and how it's different and how it also like translate to their personality and whatever so yeah so thanks for watching if you have any suggestions leave it down below uh, the next tutorial is probably gonna be the lip sync tutorial and yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial